Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to the Argon's Evil Lair Remake. I want to see where F-16 takes me. I am risking this for Sven to know that your save points actually are good. I had to do this a lot in my quest. Oh, it took me in there. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Anyway, I finished the sewers in the last one, and these are red... red-eyed, uh, red-eyed birds. It's a little unnerving. That's a raft spot. And that looks like hookshot spots. Okay. That gives me a method to get over to the right side. Awesome. So anyway, yeah. Let us, uh, currently the objective, as can be, uh, uh, attack tights. What was that? How did I do that? You found another one of the, what, what did I, what did I do that actually revealed? Can a freaking tech tight. Oh my god. Oh, there's a little check mark there. I see. Okay. I don't know how I got that one. Great Kingdom. Yes, definitely the same music. I could definitely tell. Uh, okay. North Halberts Castle, East Arkansas Evil Layer, South Militron. You know what? Very much from the gross near Arkansas Evil Arkansas Layer. Oh. Yes. Okay, so we have to go to Militron first. I was curious about that. So, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I can go up here. No. Aha! I knew that was something. Oh, it's this music from Ocarina. I like how I can just walk on your book. I can walk on all your books. I give up. You found me. Or no, you do not work for Argon, do you? No, you look more like the type... You look more like the type, actually. I might, I am myself not a type, and Vazir is the name. But yes, I used to work for Argon. But he banished me from his lair when he discovered my little scheme. What scheme could possibly be bad enough to upset Argon? Uh, I mean, he's a tyrant, so I would, I would think anything. For the longest time, I was unsatisfied that at Argon's lair, and I decided that I wanted to start my own wizard clan of sorts. A clan interested in using magic to spread peace and do good in, in, in this world. Quite the opposite of what Argon is doing. So he kicked you out for wanting to leave? Isn't that a good thing? No, no, not at all. Argon's minions are looking for me since I, well, I tried to siphon magical powers from Argon's lair. I placed a little, I placed these little devices called void charms all over the place. In the pockets of strangers under odd bushes and rocks, in all kinds of little nooks and crannies all around, all over Argon's lair. Argon discovered, Argon discovered my scheme and I had to run for my life. You mean one of these things? Oh, I like how he holds it up. You found one, and it's even filled up all the, all the way with sweet, sweet magic. Awesome. Do you think you could find more of them? Then I could finally leave this place and start my own clan. That depends. What's in it for me? I don't... I don't have much to give. I placed 300 void charms in and around Argon's lair until. Oh my god, 300? I thought it was a hundred. Let us propose that if if you can find a hundred, I will give you a really good magic ring. But there's 300. Hmm. If you manage to find 200, then I give you a truly fine heart ring. I'm certain you, you could not find better elsewhere. And what if I manage to find all 300? Finding them all would be an impossible task. Oh, that's funny. I, hi I hid them very well, and surely they have been found by others already. You would need to look very carefully and undoubtedly be very resourceful to find them. Yeah, you found the right person. All right, I'll see how many I can find for you. Thank you, Mr. Nargad. Ah, I was like, question mark. You can find more of my void charms. Yeah, so find a hundred for him. Okay, so does it show what I have here? Well, I mean, I already found like three or two, so... Oh, well, no, there's one of them here, too. Aha! I had to bomb that. Well, then. Okay, noted. I need to bomb that. Good. So... I would assume that it would just require specific items. Like, that might be the arrows or boomerang. Actually, the boomerang would make more sense because I could dislodge it, but how would I actually get it? So, probably the boomerang. 
Oh god. I'm gonna have to remember everything is. Nope, okay. What about up here? Ah, hammer pegs. So I can't do anything here. I see that money that I would absolutely waste if I picked up. I can't walk through that. Good lord! What have they done to the village? Yeah. It sure is sad. The village be destroyed. Except for these houses, which appear to be just fine. Hm. What do you have to say? Hey, did you find that mushroom around Argon's lair yet? Not yet. I'll keep looking. Oh, well, you don't even care that everything is screwed up out here. I should probably read that sign. Wow. Hi. Welcome to Adventurous Haven. We sell many essentials for uh, any true adventure. Please also check upstairs. I can tell you're looking to buy a bomb bag. Uh, apparently I am. I'm sorry, they are a little pricey right now. Tell you something though, just the other day I lost my engagement ring somewhere around town. Probably is, I don't really, I really don't know where I lost it. It could be anywhere, that's helpful. If you could find it for me, I could give you the I could give you 50% off on all bomb bags. Do we have a deal? I mean, I'd like 50% off everything, but yeah, that's a deal. Okay. Well, not really what I want. Okay. So holy crap, we've got all kinds of rings too. Uh, I could buy potion. Hmm. You can also make one yourself by combining two half potion potions. Well, I'm obviously not going to do that when I can save 10 rupees. That was a weird flash. So there's an engagement ring somewhere around here. Helen's armory, sword, shield armor. I should actually read these. Adventure saving. We have all, all an adventurer needs. Okay. Hmm, I feel like I was gonna say something, but I don't remember. Ah, I can walk on these flowers without taking damage. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, okay, it doesn't seem like anything changed. Oh, do you think, do you think twice, do you think twice after an attack like that, defend yourself with our fine gear? Uh, don't you mean think twice after an attack like that? I don't know, I don't understand. Hmm. So, looking for an engagement ring. Gotta be very thorough. That bush was halfway in that. That's a little odd. Also, Sven, if you need more voices, I've, I, I, I would be willing, honored. All your daily needs, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, then again, your dialogue is likely different. Hey. Uh, anything? That's, okay, I think I think he did say uh, different stuff. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Where would you? Man, you just lose an engagement ring. That's incredibly lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm mind, not so mindful. Yeah, that house is ruined. That's cool. Hey. Did you see the attack on the village in Argad? That was the scariest thing I ever experienced. Anyway, since we won't be getting any, getting much visitors for a while, we've closed down the motel for renovations. Might as well make the best out of the situation. How are you making the best out of the situation? Situation, Closing down. Hmm. I was going to say that looked like a thing. Uh, uh, okay. I didn't actually want to step out. I wanted to push this chair. No, okay. Uh, they has destroyed the cover. They have destroyed the cover. The beautiful tree of the beautiful tree of mine. Oh how one weeps endlessly. The tree will never regrow before one ceases to exist. Oh how one weeps and weeps. Uh, but the evil doers shall pay for all the crimes committed by their hands of hatred. Uh, they sure will. Take my healing potion and kill those abominations, please. Do it for my beautiful tree. No, you spawn in a chest. Got a hat potion. Sweet. Good thing I didn't buy a potion. I was tempted to. Okay. Well, cool. So now I can just buy an 80 rupee uh, half potion, and that would suffice. Oh, I know you're going to hide something behind these trees. Ooh. 
Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I will want to head back to that shop. Might as well get a full potion at this point, now that I have a half off. Okay. Fantastic. Hmm. How would one get that? I'm assuming that there's a cave behind the waterfall. It's a waterfall. There's always hidden caves behind waterfalls. If there isn't, then it's just terrible. Every waterfall should have something hidden behind it. That's like rule one of waterfalls in games. Have cave hidden behind. Uh, I don't have the map. I mean, I do technically... Or do I... Oh, no, I technically didn't get the map yet of this place. Okay. Oh, great. B button to set the potion because I don't have anything else. I desperately need to find something else. I don't accidentally use potion. Yeah, same thing. Hmm. Not gonna go up yet because things will happen when I go up. If I recall correctly. Hmm. You guys haven't moved. Thanks again for finding my farming. Okay. Alright, cool. There's an apocalypse happening outside, but who cares? Apparently not them. Also, I wonder if that cow is going to be there. Actually, I thought... I don't remember when there was a cow. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd be on that screen. I don't want to be there yet. That is, uh, that was Nargat's house. So, gotta investigate that. Oh, yeah, well, hope you guys like that I pushed your chair every time I leave. Hope you appreciate the courtesy. I got bushes behind here. Hmm. Is that statue in Oh, I see you. Uh, I can't cycle my items. Okay. Why did pressing B on bombs swap to my potion? Hold on, I gotta check my configurations. Okay, so L is still jump. There's something wrong here. And I don't have my potion anymore. I don't know what the heck happened. Well, you guys are made out of rocks. There we go. Exploded rocks with the bomb. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay. I'm actually taking a ton of damage from these guys. Hmm. Kind of figured that was a hard piece. Sweet. Yeah, I don't really know what happened when I was on uh, potion. Or when I was on bombs and I hit B. That certainly seems like a oh, crap. It certainly seems like a bug. Also, why does that rock look different? Like I can do something with it. Hmm, who knows? Yeah, well, that may or may not be a bug. Might need to look into that. So does anything change here? I do have bombs now. Kind of figured. Oh, I do remember you guys. Okay, was that nine hits? Are you guys guineas? Because that makes me scared of how much damage you do. Hey, sweet. I would think that there'd be a secret sound for that, but uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Don't have the map for this area. So I guess just if you don't have map, it doesn't matter where you are. If you don't have map, it gives you that. Yeah, I don't know how much damage you guys do. And I would like to not find out. If possible, meanwhile dying to tektites. Like the usual thing. Friggin' tektites. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so there's a bomb spot up there. Ah, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, that bomb spot right up there is what I need to hit. I thought there was something special here in the original. I don't know if I'm misremembering. 
Did Crystal Crusades have... I don't remember Crystal Crusades much either. Although I did mention I will be editing through my old Let's Play streams and uh, probably would get to those at some point. There's a problem with that. Well, anyway. Oh no, where's mother? Our house. Mom must still be alive. She must have been taken by Argon soldiers. The only thing I can do is go to Archon's evil lair and make him pay for his crimes. That crazy wizard has no idea what's coming for him. But hang on. What's going on north of here? I don't know. What is going on north of here? Also, I got another quest. Shopkeeper of Adventurers Haven asks you to find her engagement ring and milk. Okay. We're doing this again. It wasn't here before. That must be... Okay. Trying to do multi directional attacks. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Jeez, these guys are just dark nuts. They're not that hard. Oh, those are some big bones. I can't walk over them. Alright. Into the forest caves. Okay, fantastic. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is the same. As far as I can tell, that's a really spinny block. I wonder what's going on with that. I only have one bomb, so I'm not going to experiment. I also see that. Ah, yes. Okay, so I do know... I have seen a bunch of those. And, whoops. And presumably I can, uh... Um... Oh, you take more than one hit. I could just scan the world and look for them. This just must have made the cave entrance north of where your house used to be. Go and check out the cave. Yeah, I'll, I'll read that. Just to see the dialogue, you know. Especially since it's a demo. So, any bugs that occur. Need to make it clear. And the Force Kids look so much better than they did in the, uh... In the original. This is very nice, very nice. Ooh. Just cover all my bases. Still like the uh, Dragon Quest Drakies. That's that's still very cool. Well, I drowned. Come on. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I wonder how Sven is going to handle the coming in here more than once, assuming that's still going to be a thing. Because in the original, you had to come in here every time, basically every time you beat a dungeon, I believe. And it got a little, a little annoying with having the run through here. Oh, you, you're the one that takes two hits. So I don't know how he ha handled it here. I got to actually watch. It's I'm not used to actually having to watch pressing the triggers in ZC because normally they do nothing. So accidentally hitting it actually does something. Whatever it may signify, the statue sure looks scary. Also, I need a key. I do see something up with your eye. The right statue has something dis different with its right eye. I don't know what I would need to do about that. Do I need an arrow? Or just simply a bomb? Which would be a shame, because I has no bomb. Also, that was slashable too. Oh! There's a key right there. All right, well, I have no bomb, so I can't get it anyway. Ah, 10 rupees for one bomb. Or 10 coins. That is a ripoff. 10 for 50. That's a much better deal. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that. No, I probably won't. Why am I still going right? Um... Oh, what is going on here? Literally just flicking the joystick takes me all the way across. Huh. Weird. Huh. There's something weird going on here where simply flicking the joystick has him going all the way across. Okay. That's a weird bug. Yeah, now I see it. Okay, can we cool it with this? Apparently not. Alright, so now I have my key. 
Hmm. I kind of want to try to duplicate that. Oh, yeah, it happens there too. Wow. So if you're walking on the edge of these, it kind of just sends Nargad. It sends the player. Huh. That is a very interesting behavior. I wonder what you're doing on the edge of the and the edge of that that's causing that. Wait, what would happen if I did that with the screen transition? Well, okay, I got hand delivered to drowning. I don't appreciate being hand delivered to drowning. Why am I drowning now? Okay, you did it again. I'm trying to do it here. Oh, here we go. I'm not pressing anything. I was not pressing anything that whole time. Wow, okay. God dang it. And here we go again. <laughs> Wait a minute. So now that I entered the screen in that position, if I fall, I'm gonna just, I'm not holding anything. Okay, I can't, I can't get out of this. I can't get out of this. I actually can't get out of this. No, <laughs> that needs to be fixed. I have no idea what that is, but I actually was essentially soft, well, it wasn't really soft walk. I was just gonna die. Okay, we're, note, note to self, edge of water is so slippery that you just feel like you need to keep walking. I'm trying to like thoroughly test this. There we go. So am I just stuck here? No, okay, I was able to get out of that. I was stuck before when with the drowning. It happens vertically too. So whatever combos you're using for edge of, okay, okay, okay. That is actually really bad. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would be that bad at first, but it's bad. Mm, there's definitely something with the eye of that statue. Ah, now this is the force... Uh, this is the force caves I remember. I see that hookshot spot over there. Uh, it's still definitely kind of hard to see, but I'm actually... Uh, are they transparent? Is it transparent? I'm not... Oh. All right, I think I should push the blocks on all four of these pressure plates. You've added block puzzles now. Well, now. It's almost as if you wanted me to play... Well, like, you knew I'd be playing this. I mean, it's not a complicated one. Uh, why is the under combo changed? It looks like the under combo's changed. Ah, block puzzles. Man, is this... Is Archon's Evil Lair going to be my favorite quest of all time? Oh, yes. Look at that blistering fog. Oh, block puzzles. Oh, my God. I didn't even consider the fact that the previous Nargad's trail didn't have them. I see that orb down there. I'm going to speed... I'm going to spot them everywhere. I also wanted that money. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, man. That makes me very happy that there's not block puzzles. Uh, hmm, there's a large crack in this wall. I do like the um, intermittent uh, dialogue pieces. That, that's certainly... That's nice. Oh, wow. That's uh, terrible. Um, wow. You've just given me a reason that I, aside from taking damage, that I really don't want to fall in fire. Also found a key. Uh, thank you for the small dialogue box for that. Actually, I kind of want to see that again. Oh my god, that is cool. <laughs> that is actually really cool. Uh, just the attention to detail things that so many other quest creators miss. You know, it's, it's really a shame. This isn't the end, right? Okay, no. I don't know if this is a shortcut or what. I start oh, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of a shortcut. Unfortunately, Miss Map Lady, I don't think it's here. Well, I, mm. So that must be a boomerang one. I can't even see where the edge is here. Well. That is definitely either that, that that's probably engine pits. I was gonna say that's either engine pits or a script, but no, um, you probably use engine pits for that. So cool. Ah uh, yes, I don't remember what these are. Oh, that was my last bomb. Oh my god! Wait, really? 
cool. I like that actually. Hey, hello, Nargad. Glad to see you made it over here. Aren't you the gambler that lives in the mill? That was merely one of my many places I could call home, but perhaps nowhere is my home in actuality. Don't be alarmed, my dear Nargad, for I am a friend. I've been keeping a close eye on Argon for a while, a while now. He has stolen what what used what used to rest here what used to rest here in the in this cave, the Orb of Fierce. It is an incredibly powerful relic of the past. Oh, I, the the sounds also reminds me of Four Swords. A uh, relic of the past, and that Argon, and what Argon has done here today will set on, will set, will set an hor and horrible, so set a horrible chain of events in motion that will change our land, Krillia, for eternity. Even Argon himself will dearly regret it. For now, for now, he will enjoy it though, as the power of the Orb of Fierce will make him unstoppable, fulfilling his lifelong dream. Hmm. Then what should we do? I think he also killed my mom. I'm certain that Argon did not kill your mother. I thought she did die in the original, but I fear she is indeed in great peril. I also believe there is a way we can stop Argon, if the old tales are true at least. These eight pillars around the altar used to contain the Force Essences. According to the legends, these Force Essences were intended to safe keep the Orb of Fierce, like an antidote if you will. Ooh, cutscenes. It is told that long ago the Orb of Fierce was possessed by very mighty wizards with powers beyond comprehension. I don't think this much was explained in the original, so there's definitely much more story given in this version. They reigned for ages and ages, for the power they instilled into the Orb of Fierce was the power of the gods themselves. However, eight of the wizards were sick of the evil and corruption amongst their own, seeking an end to the abuse of the Orb. They managed to confiscate and secure the orb right here in the Force Caves, but weren't satisfied just yet. The eight wizards wanted to be sure that the orb could not be abused without any repercussion. The wizards bestowed their various powers into additional orbs, which they referred to as the Force Essences. But the, for but the essences were not only filled with power, no, the, wizard the wizards used them as a safeguard as well. They managed. It takes me. I want. I almost want to take a second to just look at what's happening before reading. They managed to place a curse on the Orb of Fierce, making it depend dependent on the essences in a way. In a way, binding them together. Ugh. If the essences are not restored, resting in their pillars here, the power of the Orb of Fierce would fade and be void. The wizards celebrated their good deed for humanity, thinking the orb would never be used for evil again. But as you can see, the essences are missing, and I suspect Argon managed to steal these as well. However, he is not able to take both the orb and the essences, as the orb's power would be non-existent. Meaning either Argon has made a grave mistake, or has somehow circumvented this problem. The good news for us is that the, the essences most likely are separated from Argon, and thus might, must, might be within our reach. This seems to be the only way to beat Argon, the only possible way. And nobody could do it but you. Nobody but you, my dear Nargad. I know with all in my heart I know with all my heart that you must defeat Argon and that you and that you will succeed. How can you be so certain of all this? Tell me who who you really tell me who you really are. I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you. Not now. But what other hope is there? Believe me, please. Be brave, Nargad. For you are our only savior. I believe in you. Oh, and take this old boomerang of mine. It will surely be of help. We'll meet again in the future. Oh, that's cool. The old man gave you a boomerang. Use it to stun monsters or to activate crystals. The boomerang can also pick up small items and hearts come from distance. Boomerang secondary. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I know. That old man sure was weird, but hey, I got this boomerang. Got the boomerang. I'm not too sure about his advice, but I should definitely go to Argon's lair and find out more. Okay, so L and R do nothing. That is weird. I can't seem to rebind my buttons. It's like, okay. It's like that button is always, so just for reference in case you're wondering, I'm using a PS5 controller and currently LB is that. 
Hmm. I wonder if I need to do what I need, think I need to do. No, there, there actually is no item cycling. I don't know if that... I don't know if they're... Um, I, I don't know if you just don't have item cycling as a script in here, but it doesn't seem like... I can do anything with that. Okay, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. It certainly is kind of unfortunate, but actually if I, I wonder if I have six here, where does it take me? Hmm. Oh, perhaps I can hit that crystal with the, oh, it's a boomerang crystal. Yee. Hmm, I'm not done here. I'll be right, I'll be right back. All right. So that guy's still not a thing, apparently. Ah, yes, there's one of the things I found. Alright, that's apparently not a thing I can do anything with. Ah, that. That's certainly a thing, right? Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't think I can do anything else here. They might be arrow spots. I'm not really sure. So, uh, yeah. I guess that'll be it for this one. I don't know how long this is gonna end up being. I spent a bit of time with the button configs. So, I don't know, we'll see. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.